yesterday. I've never. N- none of us have ever seen anything like it again. Let, let's let's just focus on what happened yesterday. The chief law enforcement officer of the United States, who would still be in that job except that Donald Trump fired him a month ago. He told the Senate Intelligence Committee and the American people, you cannot trust the president of the United States. His word is no good. He told the American people, the president of the United States has lied to you, lied to the FBI, lied to Congress, lies. That's what he does. He tells lies. He told us that he felt so compelled uh, by by, by so... um, unsettled, if you will, by meeting Donald Trump and just the first time that he saw him, the, he was so uncertain of Donald Trump's character. He was so uncertain that Donald Trump would lie about what they talked about that he felt compelled to write an, a, a very detailed memo of everything in that conversation, word for word, immediately after the meeting to keep that record because he knew He might need it someday. He told us yesterday that he was so uncomfortable with Donald Trump and the pressure that Donald Trump was putting on him and the efforts by Donald Trump to destroy any uh, tradition of independence between a president of the United States and the FBI director, which is the way it has always been. He felt so uncomfortable by by that that he told the attorney general he never wanted to be alone with the president of the United States ever again. I mean, that in itself is so chilling. He told us that he was, he knew, believed, because Donald Trump said it, that he was fired, not because, as we were originally told, Donald Trump thought that he was mean to Hillary Clinton last year. No, he believes he was fired. Donald Trump said it. He takes Donald Trump at his word because Donald Trump, because he would not drop the FBI investigation. And finally, uh, James Comey admitted, yeah, that he gave his memos. He, After Donald Trump called him a nut job, <laughs> after Donald Trump says he better be careful because we got tapes of these meetings, James Comey admitted he gave copies of his own personal memos, not government documents, his personal memos, through a, through a friend to the New York Times because he wanted to get the truth out, knowing that Donald Trump was lying about those meetings. He wanted to get the truth out, and he believed it would lead to the appointment of a special prosecutor, which it did. Bottom line here, and I think here are the two big takeaways. No matter all this talk, no matter what you hear, two big takeaways from yesterday's Senate Intelligence Committee hearing. Number one, there's a total shift now in this investigation. It The main subject is no longer did people around Donald Trump during the transition or during the campaign collude with the Russian government to try to influence the outcome of the election? That's still a big issue. It's still a big story. It's still a big question mark. I think they did. But that's where the investigation started. Now the investigation has shifted from did Trump team collude with Russians to did Donald Trump obstruct justice. It's gone from collusion to obstruction, and that is bad news for Donald Trump. That means that this is going to continue for months, if not years, before this is all cleared up. Number one takeaway, obstruction from uh, collusion to obstruction. And as part of that, number two takeaway is listen to this. This is so important. We learned yesterday, we know now, that the president, who was not subject of investigation, Comey told him that three times, he was not subject of the investigation back then. Now he is. The president of the United States is under investigation by the special prosecutor. And the question is, did he obstruct justice? Is he guilty of obstructing justice? It's up to the Congress what happens if he, if, if uh, um, um, special counsel uh, Robert Mueller m- comes to that conclusion. But that's what he is investigating. Now, that is huge, and I would say this right now. So anybody that you hear, any of these 
dumbass commentators that you see on cable television or anybody like these dumbass Republicans in Congress like Paul Ryan or Mitch McConnell or John McCain or Lindsey Graham who come out, as they did yesterday, and said, oh, this was actually a good day for Donald Trump. Anybody who tells you that it was a good day for Donald Trump, that he is now under investigation for obstructing justice, anybody who tells you that's a good day for Donald Trump is an idiot. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. James Comey could have come out and said he is guilty of obstructing justice and he should be thrown in jail for 30 years. Yeah, Tom, James Comey didn't say that. He said it's up to you, senators, to decide whether and, and up to the special counsel. But the fact that it could have been a lot worse doesn't make it good for Donald Trump. Again, the whole subject of the investigation has gone from collusion to obstruction, and he is now the target of the investigation. How can you possibly say that's good for Donald Trump? Unless you're on his payroll, which Mark Kazowitz, of course, is, and he said that yesterday, and so did Sarah Sanders. My only fear in this, I, I agree with you. I think it was a very bad day for Donald Trump in the public eye, right? Like, I think you look at what Comey did. It's hard to say that Comey is some sort of a partisan hack or is trying to pick a fight or anything like that. But we're now, again, at a point where what's going to stop Trump? What's going to get in the way of Trump? And as Comey even said, that's up to you, the senators, to find this out. And we got a taste of what... The senators are going to do like you looked at Marco Rubio and Jim Risch, this other senator, yeah, mm. who questioned him, and they were all carrying water for him. Paul Ryan said, "Oh, you know, he's just new to the job, and these are yeah. things that he doesn't." Yeah. And so, yeah. he's got he still has his defenders. Amazingly, remarkably, they're still out there defending him. Yeah, uh, and answer your question: What's going to stop him? Only two things are going to stop him. One. The American people are going to stop him in 2018 mm -hmm. uh, by uh, uh, taking away control of the House and the Senate from the Republican Party, putting Democrats back in charge. Uh, or before then, uh, Republicans are going to stop him. If they're smart, they will. I'm not talking about impeachment. I don't expect them to impeach him before, but they'll, they'll better realize that uh, he's taken them down with him. <laughs> and those rats had better get off the sinking ship. And say, ah, uh, no, we, we 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 can't go there. You wonder, you wonder what's going to take. Maybe, maybe it'll take Robert Mueller saying, yes, yeah. this is obstruction of justice. 